Hey there, it's Adam from Oliver POS, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Oliver POS in just a few minutes. First, log into your WordPress site and head to the Plugins tab in the WordPress menu. Select Add New from the pop-up menu. In the search bar on the right-hand side of the screen, search Oliver POS to find the Oliver POS plugin. You can also find Oliver POS in the WordPress.org plugins page. Select Install Now and then activate the plugin. You'll then be directed to hub.oliverpos.com where you'll be asked to create your account. Enter your first and last name. Next, enter an email address and create a password. This email address and password will be your login credentials to your Oliver POS account. Enter your phone number and finally, enter a four digit PIN which will be used to log into the Oliver POS web register. Once you've filled in all the fields, create your account. Now that you've created your Oliver POS account, your WooCommerce shop's products, customers, orders, and settings will be synced into Oliver POS. Once you're all synced, select Let's Get Started to open Oliver POS. Opening Oliver POS will bring you into the Oliver POS dashboard. To open the register and make your first sale, select Launch Register in the right hand side of the upper menu. Once we've opened the register, we can see that our products have been loaded into the Oliver POS product list in the center of your screen. On the left hand side of the register, we can add tiles to sort our product list. Tiles can be added for single products, categories, and subcategories, as well as product attributes. As you can see, selecting a category or subcategory tile sorts the product list to solely contain products within that category or subcategory. Now we've added a few products to our cart, so let's make our first sale. Select checkout in the bottom right corner. Next we're directed to the Oliver POS payments page where transactions are finalized. Enter the amount the customer is paying with to calculate the change if paying with cash, or select card to enter the payment amount when you're using a card payment. After confirming the payment, we'll see the sale complete screen. Here you can email or print receipts for sales. To enter back into the register, select New Sale. In the upper left corner, you'll find your order history in Activity View. Selecting Activity View, you can find previous orders created through your website and through Oliver POS. Finally, we'll head over to our website to show the order we just created in WooCommerce. Here we can see the order we've created with the products we've just checked out. 